Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more EU4, the Dutch World Conquest thing. I, I don't actually don't know if I came up with a name for this specifically. I know that I have a title in the um, you know the YouTube video title, but I can't pronounce that because I'm not Dutch and my dumb American tongue will say it wrong every time. Nine times out of ten, hundred times out of ten, actually every time. So I don't know. We'll probably just call it like the Dutch World Conquest or something, something easy like that. So, ooh, hey, well advised, my man. Well, I'll certainly take free prestige. That sounds good to me. So we're probably gonna win this soon. Yeah, maybe next month. Still not even in my land, and they still haven't even seized on my vassal. So, oh sheesh, they're going for it, man. You sons of guns. Devastating Milans. Ooh, hey. So. I can peace down. So which do I do here? I always have a tendency to just pay the money for the professionalism because I am a big sucker for professionalism. A lot of people hate on it, but I think it's quite good. And on the flip side, you just devastate the trash out of him, get some money, lose professionalism, but I don't even have that much. So it wouldn't be a big deal and lose a little bit of prestige. Um... But I'm just going to pay for the professionalism. In my opinion, it is the superior way to go about it. Let's see if we can... I guess I would not want to fight him there if I don't have to. But who else? Mines? I suppose... Come over here. We'll be the defender, so... Where are you, where are you heading, brother? I'll be down here. See if we can wipe out that uh, Clevian stack here and chase down mine stack. So it looks like he's running down to mines. My perfect, my uh, participation is pretty good. Ooh, free stab feels good, man. Free stab is the best stab. All right, cool. So we're gonna continue improving relations with you, and I would like to go to war with you, and I can this instant if I wanted to. Um, I don't know though; it's tough. So this one, whenever you can, just side with nobility. You gotta make sure you're looking at your uh, influence and stuff, but just side with the nobility and just pay off the clergy, right? So obviously the, they're gonna be over 100, but it doesn't really matter because I can just do one of these. Just, you know, yoink, and he's still loyal. No big deal, right? It's all good. All good, man. And uh, you can actually give that to the clergy. And uh, that will keep them nice and loyal. And we're good. So we have our heavies ready to go, which is pretty nice. Um, we've still got almost a six ducat a month income, which is super nice. We're going to need some transport. So I'm actually going to just go ahead and take out a couple of loans and uh, get some transports rolling. We're going to go over our limit, and that's totally fine. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. We're going to go ahead and uh, not mothball you. How far away are we from a flagship? We're gonna be able to after we get these transports. And so, that'll be fun. But, hope you guys are enjoying the series. Like I'd said in the previous episode, as long as we're getting 100, 100 likes a day, we will get daily uploads. And um, for the time being, we're actually gonna get two daily uploads. So if you, uh, you get two for the price of one. If I get 100 likes on each video, you're getting two videos a day until I get my next campaign started up, which I'm thinking will actually be a uh, modded campaign. So hopefully you guys are excited for that. I know I am. I've been talking to a um, mo mod dev uh, been fooling around with it. I'm going to keep it a little bit on the under wraps here because I don't want to ruin the surprise. Dang, is that a these outbreak? But should be fun. So hope you guys are excited. I know I am. Anyways, we're just going to continue to rot away in attrition here while he does nothing. But we're getting lots of participation, so we'll be able to get some money and some prestige from this, so that'll be good for us. Matter of fact, if I wanted to, I could separate piece you. I have no individual war score. Feels bad, man. I'm going to continue with the spy network on him. going to be good. I think we could actually study technologies like level 10 or something like that. Man, we are losing so much manpower just from this. There we go. So he pieced out and gave what? 
I got 12 ducats. That's fine with me. So, Clev's pieced out. I got 21 ducats. So, that's not bad. I mean, 30 some ducats for, you know, some prestige. 17 favors. That's the big one. Very good. All right. And we can now do that click. Who do we want to. Ooh, Castillo. Ooh. That'd be a good one. Be a good rival to have. Um, I'll go with Gelray. Don't have a truce with him or anything. Wonder if I could. So it was war exhaustion. If he didn't have war exhaustion, he'd come in on promise of territory. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Regardless, let's see here. France, I will certainly give you land. Leinster won't join. Kildare and Tyrone will, as well as you. Savoy will join. So that would be good because they can run down and just beat up on Portugal. <sighs> I, I think I'm going to do this, honestly. Um, we're going to get you guys. I'll let you get this monthly tick here. And we're going to get you over here. I will go ahead and uh, take this. And we are going to continue building trade buildings for now. And so our navy is looking very, very good right now. Look at this. A strong, 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 strong. So, three English trade ships. We want to find his navy and see if we can pick off some guys that I'm not really too concerned about. This little trade fleet is would be easy pickings. I'm wondering if he has them docked in uh, London. So he's got his heavies docked in London. All right. So I'm going to declare this war. We're going to call Savoy in. Ah, uh, Leinster will join now. Bummer. That's fine. Um... Let's do it. These heavies are probably going to come out, but nope, they didn't. Well, that's fine with me then. Let's go ahead and do this. See if we can... Oh, 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 oh. So, you guys are heading there on the 11th, the 9th. I'll be there on the 8th, so we're going to make a big fight here happen. Hopefully we can sink a couple of his heavies, if not all of them. We sunk a heavy. So, I don't know where you're going though, brother. That's really good. I don't know where the rest of his heavies went. Oh, they went right back into London, so we're good. So that actually just completely got rid of all of his heavies. They're all now out of the fight. Well, not, you know, they're not out of the fight, but he's not going to be able to do anything, right? So France, I really hope you don't want that province for yourself. You do. Hmm. I wonder if I can, like... Get him to go away from this province. That would be really cool. I only have 11, so I'll lose the legitimacy. I do not care. Dude, if you could get off this, that would be great. So it looks like he's getting ready to try to land some troops. Does he have transports? 18 of them somewhere. There they go. So there's Portugal's navy. He's got one heavy over there. So let's go ahead and see if we can... Oh, damn. Let's see if we can get a good fight over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. It's a slaughter. Okay. I don't want to lose any ships if I can avoid it. So they lost seven to our zero. So... I'll call that a good fight. And now England is uh, now blockading out here. So let's see if we can swing around. Where's France's Navy at? He's repairing. So I don't want to do anything dumb. Five heavies. Four lights. So eight lights. Yeah. He certainly has the upper hand on that. I wonder if he's going to give me the Calais if we win the siege. But Portugal is actually 
Dude, he's landed men. Goodness gracious. Defend your lands. He gave it to me. Very good. Cool. All right, so let's see here. You want to land some men over here? That'd be fine with me, brother. Go ahead and land some men. Let me fight them. Let me fight these guys. Yeah, get out of here, you turd. Get stacked, white boy. This is all transport, so I wonder if he landed most of his men. Hmm. 13k. So he's a solid half of his army is on the French mainland. Which is really good for us. So they have six heavies there. Man, France, I need you. I need you to uh, come and help me out, brother. Okay, for some reason, they just sent in their guys. I captured a couple of lights, which is nice. I don't need you guys attaching to me. But I will come over here and kill this kill this army. No leader. Get my uh, participation up as much as I possibly can. So I think I'm actually going to risk it for the biscuit. How damaged are these ships here? So this one is very damaged. So we don't want you. The rest of them can go out. Could have actually got a repair tick there. My bad. So let's see here. Actually, oh, he does have wooden wall. Hmm. So we've sunk a ship. We lost a ship. Ah, we lost a heavy to a light. Feels bad. Hmm. If we get Portugal out, I think we can probably come out ahead. I'd like to get a large city. I should do that. Maybe I do dev up Renaissance. I can make them loyal right now. We're ahead on. Hmm. Yeah, we probably should just do it. Ten percent dev cost. So let's just go ahead and do it. Where's the best place to do it? Capital, because we can dev up um, Amsterdam for colonialism. So. That sounds good to me. So let's go ahead and uh, turn this edict on. Uh, ahead and give it that. There we go Renaissance is now present. Oh, it's actually already present. What? What am I doing? Well, I guess we want thirty anyway. So there we go. <laughs> Whatever. So. You got lots of men over there. I'm going to uh, go ahead and just step those guys back. So it looks like France might actually peace out, which is not ideal. So I have to take a fort here if I want to take land from his homeland. Uh, oh yeah. So I lost a heavy in that. So this is not looking too hot for me in the Navy game. France is about to lose all three of his heavies right there. So actually, England is losing his army. Mm. Why are you still fighting that dude? Get out of there. France is losing his heavies. Maybe he's not. Is he going to win? I'm so confused. This fight has been going on for way too long. So he took out a heavy and only lost one. Good on you, I suppose. So this guy, two fire, one shock, or four fire. The major issue is we need to land men. If we, if we want to uh, take anything on the mainland, which I certainly do. So I'm actually gonna take out another loan. We're going to recruit a couple of men here. We can just do it with manpower, that's fine. How many lights do we have? 12? 12 transports? Nope, just 11. Well, that's fine. Actually, how many we're gonna have? Oh, we're gonna have 12. Might be able to sneak him over here. Let's see here. Just need to keep a 
keen eye on here. Might be able to land him. Looks like I will. Okay. I have no sailors left, which is an absolute bummer. Hmm. In 19 each month, and we need 44 to repair. Goodness gracious. Okay. Um. I suppose we just I tail it over here. So they are attacking me. Oh my god. Okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 15th, 18th. Okay, we're safe. All right, I'll lose that one. That's fine. <laughs> I think I got, <laughs> got a little ambitious there. All right, so. Hmm. How do we do this, man? I mean, worst case scenario, I'll at least get Calais out of this war. Uh, even if France pieces out separately, it's not going to be an issue for me. Um, England is getting some war exhaustion stacking up, so this is actually really good for us. Goodbye, Norfolk. You were under my control for a couple of minutes there. Um, hmm. The Savoy is in the war as well. Portugal lost many men? Nah, not really. England's lost a ton, though. Wonder if he's got any debt going on. No. Does not. Interesting. Um... Do I take out another loan? Suppose so. We need to, yeah, whatever. It's fine. Don't care. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. All right, so we do, we need to handle these heavies. It looks like France lost his navy, actually. Did he completely lose it? He did. Lost 18 ships. England's lost 16, though. I really think my he my lights can hold their own against him. We're gonna try for it. He hasn't repaired his ship, so... We're losing some, but he's losing way more. Oh yeah, no, this is definitely a victory for us. He only lost one heavy, though. Damn. Fine, we'll build more. We will rebuild them. Yes. It's not looking like... Damn. <laughs> Portugal. So they're slowly marching some men over here. I wonder if Portugal would actually peace out if we... Get some guys over here, see if we can maybe... Force them to not siege down stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Get out of here, you turds. Okay, so somehow you guys got you got guys over here. Go one more repair tick. You have no general either, so you're certainly dead. Get you guys over here. There's no heavies over there. Got his heavies in port, so it should be a slaughter. AKA nobody died. No ships were dead. Did we stack wipe that little stack? I think we did. Yeah, we did. Damn, dude. How many men can you lose? He's got to have um, mercs right now. No mercs. Still has manpower, even. That's nuts. England is OP, apparently. Meanwhile, France is just trying to re-siege his land. Which is kind of uh, pressing, in my opinion. So, let's see here. Where's his navy at? They're all right there. Hmm. Guess I'll just keep them blockaded for now. Matter of fact, I'll blockade London. 
give him some extra war exhaustion. Gives me also a... How much extra war score does that give me? I don't know. Yeah, there's no chance. I'm not going to be able to take any land up there without it. And France is going to expect territory. I could do it for favors, which would be really good, because then I could call them in against Castile. Hmm. I don't know. I do not know. I don't want them taking attrition either. Out of sailors, and we're losing... Oh, shoot. Should probably come up here and help out, huh? Looks like they're winning, regardless. Where are you going? Maine? Look at me coming over to clean it up. Yeah, that's what I thought, boy. All me, baby. All me. All me. Check it out. Mm. All me, baby. Kill the Portuguese. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Look who led that fight. I got two prestige from that. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, so Portugal's gonna actually want out of the war soon, and if we can piece them out, that's gonna... What? I don't have military access through Castile. You turds. You absolute turds. That's fine. We lost a decent amount of men there, so I'm actually just gonna come over here and chill. I don't think we're gonna be able to land any more men over there. Yeah, he's still got 20k. No chance. Let's just go ahead and turn army maintenance nice and low. actually turn on the trade power edict here let's go ahead get you guys protecting trade in the English Channel uh, actually a matter of fact we probably should not especially not while he's got a Navy float in the boot oh hey they actually just left port so let's wait here so he just put his heavy heavies up here okay cool so we can now catch out all his transports solo over here Stole one. Feels good, man. There you go. Give him a little bit of war exhaustion as like a little drive-by middle finger there. Very good. Stole two more of his transports. Man. Playing checkers and I'm playing chess, baby. Um, yearly inflation, I don't think is necessary. Let's go with the prestige. Get that uh, aggressive expansion ticket down, which it has. Ooh. Very good. You would not join, though. I think I could fight him solo. I really think I could. Let's, um, with Brunswick, like, Brunswick wouldn't be introducing a whole lot of men to the field. I think we can do that. Um, and we could probably... I don't know. Vassalizing him is probably my best bet. I don't know. We'll think about it. Uh, let's continue to improve with you. I would like for you to be... Uh, wait a minute. What does this say? His loans. End up with a monthly deficit. Of course you would. Well, who wants to buy it then? Munster? Take a half a duck in a month. Sounds good to me. Um, build some spy network over here. Got that yearly tick update. Very good. I would like to transfer. So we'll get a lot of this money, actually. I suppose this isn't as it could be worse, right? So we have war exhaustion that's worth waiting to tick down. 
So it's giving us 14% core creation cost, so it's at making it cost an extra like four or five points, but only one month worth, so I think I'm just gonna swallow it there. Um, let's go ahead and get a couple, we'll pay off our debt first of all. And I think we'll get a couple of mercs in our army. We're going to attack him. No, nah, I'm not paying. I'm not going to gain autonomy in my territories. Are you kidding me? Why are you getting... Oh, Lorraine is sieging down Utrecht. The monster would actually help now. And I'm going to do the same thing I just did before. I can't claim that I want that because he has it marked as vital interest. That's annoying. That's fine. Um, so it's just going to be us in Brunswick. So as long as I have men, he's not going to be able to get it. So let's see. Rather not lose. They won't be disloyal for long. I suppose we just wait it out. Yeah, they'll only be disloyal for like a year and a half. So hopefully he doesn't keep that for himself. That would be pretty lame. Hey, he broke it off. Very nice. Very good. So he might actually be coming up here. So let's go ahead and scorch that earth. And uh, we can come back to that siege. That's fine. Alright, very good. Might be able to get there in time. Very good. Where you going, brother? How in the world are you getting up there? That don't make no sense. Oh, he's fleeing over to Utrecht. Of course he is. They're not sieging it anymore, so we can actually take it. Speaking of that, certainly need to be protecting trade over there. Have you mothballed? I think we can actually get our flagship. Not enough sailors. Of course we don't. Hopefully it's a stack wipe. Yes, indeedy. And we can wait for him to siege down that dude over there. This will go away whenever we finish coring our stuff. Oh my. A hundred of both. Stage, goodness gracious. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, hell yeah. Wish I would have got that a minute ago before I started corn up Calais. That's all good. Let's go ahead and take our transports here. Speaking of that, we need to uh, get you there. Get you on here, just for blockading. I don't want to fight them, but we're going to at least see if we can get a siege going here decent offensiveness there revanchism what did you lose money i don't know we're gonna finish this up in the next episode though hope you guys are enjoying like i said 100 likes and you get twice daily uploads until we start our next campaign and then after that it will be every day um and if not it'll just be every other day but i just want to make sure that i'm uploading stuff that you guys want to see so if you're excited and you want to see it leave a like 100 likes and we will uh Get consistent uploads here um, and subscribe if you have not already. There's a Discord as well as a Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. Links for those are going to be in the description down below. And with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoot and I will catch you guys later. Big special thanks to Udaldo and Corbett Gaming, my top supporters on Patreon, as well as Classified for Life, Bloodbound92, Radu the Beautiful, Airborne Animal 7, Lambda Driver, Damien Hartvig, as well as others for your awesome support on Patreon. Feel free to check out a couple of the series I have listed on the right, as well as subscribe. Catch you guys later.